Hey guys, so earlier, um, about a week ago, I asked you, what are some, uh, what, are, what are your favorite kinds of movies? What, what is your favorite type of movie? It can be as vague or specific as possible, as long as it exists, as long as it's, you know, a serious answer. So let's just hop in, um, from S. S says, um, Sudanese action, political, comedy, psychological thrillers. Gordon McKnight on Twitter says, Silly brand adventures of an unconventional protagonist in modern society with an unexpected emotional arc and a coming-of-age B-plot topped off with a goofy villain played flawlessly by an A-list actor, aka Mr. Bean's Holiday in Paddington 2. Um, yeah, I really like James Bond too. Will Foley says, A lot of my favorite movies focus on a character whose journey usually entails some sort of fall from grace in the broadest sense of the term. For example, in the name of the Father, Apocalypse Now, Raging Bull, There Will Be Blood, Barry Lyndon, that's the good shit. Um, well, my only problem is that, um, those movies typically don't end in a happy way. You know, usually I like a happy ending. I don't really like thinking about movies afterwards, so I kind of hate all these movies that you just mentioned. Um, so yeah, I disagree. Martin Scorsese says, A movie that leaves me with a burning question rather than an answer. Well, uh, if you like questions so much, let me ask you this. Um, would you kill your family to save ten other families? Since you like questions so much. Boy Rick 36 says, The decaying of a dream or fantasy until it becomes a zombie version of itself. A postmodern take on fantasy films and a brawling nightmare. Movies like Mulholland Drive and I'm Thinking of Ending Things. Can't think of anything else right now, but lol, yeah. Um, yeah, I think David Lynch is actually really great at this because he is really good at sort of creating an atmosphere and a tone that really makes you feel like everything's like kind of great right now but things feel like they could just fall apart instantly paul paul says horror comedies because they're funny but there is usually some crazy shit going on too to shake things up like cabin in the woods and the faculty and stuff see the problem with horror comedies though is that i feel like horror and comedy are very like they're movies that are very reliant on the visceral reaction of a um of an audience member so like if you watch a drama you can interpret it in your own way but if you watch a horror movie and you're not scared you there's not like that much that's impressing you and if you see like a comedy that doesn't make you laugh you're not going to enjoy it so there's like a lot of pressure when it comes to a horror comedy and um whenever i watch horror comedies usually they don't work very well but i mean i love movies like an american werewolf in london the shining's pretty funny JSB says neo westerns, No Country for Old Men, Hell or High Water always leave me satisfied. I find they do a very good job of building atmosphere and a sense of hopelessness while still delivering on the action of classic westerns. And the way they adapt slash deconstruct some of the western archetypes that are still present in most post 60s action movies is always interesting. So yeah, I, I totally agree with you and I think the western genre is actually very interesting because there seems to be a lot of movies that sort of talk about the western genre which makes sense considering just how old westerns are and they're pretty much like the foundation of hollywood almost and now they're kind of irrelevant um or at least the sort of conventional western uh, that we that you're not referring to right now um and that that can be as recent as something like hell or high water or no country for old men but it, it goes as far back as unforgiven or even further back in movies like hud uh, and a lot of people will say that like the good and the bad the ugly and once upon a time in the west are also like sort of reflections on western genres which casting and sundance kid was like purposefully like sort of going for the opposite that most westerns were going for at the time you know there it was much more fun it was much more you know exciting and um much more of like an action movie um so yeah, I find the Western genre really fascinating, and I really love no, 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 neo-westerns. Nicholas Schwartz says, Italian horror movies, because they take everything about horror to the max, 
the gore within Italian horror is great. Sometimes they're kind of scary and they're very thrilling. It gets kind of tiring though. I mean, like, it's almost like um, screwball comedies for me in like very early Hollywood. It's just kind of like I can I can enjoy them at the time, but like I need time to breathe. I need like a, I need a rom com in between. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Colin says early 2000s schlock trying to be deep, coming off as terrible, which in itself gives a layer of ironic majesty. Honestly, I don't think people talk about the 2000s enough when it comes to movies. A lot of people are really crazy about like the 80s and stuff, but the 2000s had some like great movies. And and I'm not just talking about movies that happened to come out in the 2000s. I'm talking about like 2000 movies. When you when you say this though, I think of a movie like Garden State, which I just can't stand really. But I know what you're I know what else you're talking about and I can I can I can get down with that. Well guys, that was the video. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and share. Bye!